Well, we're back here in Canberra to continue our story. In October last year, Scott Morrison gave an apology to victims of child sexual abuse, not only in institutions, but outside of those institutions. I'll let Scott, or Mr. Morrison, say in his own words, the part of the apology that I believe is important. They said to me that an apology without action is just a piece of paper, and it is. And today they also wanted to hear about our actions. It's a fair call. But this isn't to the federal government. This is to our New South Wales state government. We have legislation in New South Wales for child protection. It was you who were responsible for my safety in 1976 at the age of 10. It was your responsibility for all the victims that I meet every single day on this journey. Proverbs 31.8 says to be a voice for those who don't have a voice. Well, Premier Berejiklian, you say you're a woman of faith, so I'm going to hold you account to those words. Proverbs 31.8, be a voice for those who don't have a voice. And verse 9, it says, seek justice for those who can't seek justice. Where is the justice when we have criminals walk free like they did last Thursday from jail? Over 60 years of sentence served 17. You want to show me respect, dignity, and compassion as a victim of crime, which is your charter that you voted on. You start jailing pedophiles and keeping them there. And those who protected them, jail them. We have legislation for a reason. We don't need another 50,000 children, more than 50,000 children next year to be abused. It's time to step up to the plate. Premier, Attorney General, Mr. Bella Laro, our Deputy Premier, and every politician, no matter what side of politics you're on, no matter what party you represent, or if you're an independent, you speak for those who elected you. My charge to you is put some teeth to your legislation and do a parliamentary inquiry into victim services because people are being pushed to the point of suicide because of the way they're being treated. I thank you for your time. My number and my Facebook page and how you can contact me will be on this video. And I'd love to meet with everyone. I want to put a special thank you to David Shoebridge from the Greens, who in 2016 hosted us for six hours in Parliament House, where we met with four members of the Labor Party, the Greens and the Christian Democrats. Notably absent were the Liberal Party and the National Party. Thank you for your time.